This is a big humiliation for Blue Origin. Even a regular ISS cargo mission by SpaceX's is more useful than Blue Origin's entire NS-31 flight. NASA just bet everything on SpaceX's Dragon to take over for Cygnus NG-22 after technical issues grounded it. This move was a slap in the face for Blue Origin, making their dramatic six-woman flight look even more embarrassing. Let's dive in and find out in today's episode of Alpha Tech. Blue Origin and SpaceX have always been fierce rivals, practically at odds in the U.S. space industry. But while Blue Origin has struggled to make a real impact, SpaceX has shot up at a pace no one could have predicted. Even with NASA, the biggest player in the game, SpaceX has come out on top, locking down key commercial contracts, especially in crewed missions. Meanwhile, Blue Origin, they're still left out in the cold, not even making the list. Back in 2008, SpaceX was on the verge of collapse after three failed Falcon 1 launches. Elon Musk had just enough money left for one final attempt. If that fourth flight failed, it would have been game over, and Musk might not have even been able to pay off his debts. But thanks to relentless effort and a bit of luck, the fourth launch in September 2008 succeeded. And right after that, seeing SpaceX's potential, NASA stepped in with a $1.6 billion contract to deliver cargo to the ISS, saving the company from the brink. That was the moment that sparked the creation of two iconic vehicles that would define Musk's company, the Falcon 9 rocket and the Dragon spacecraft. By now, the reliability of these two vehicles pretty much speaks for itself. Falcon 9 is on track to hit a huge milestone, 500 launches, by May or sometime in mid-June this year. And the Dragon capsule? It's not just safe, it's actually far more modern and secure than the old-school Soyuz spacecraft. This year, it's also expected to reach its 50th successful docking with the ISS. That's why NASA has placed most of its trust in them, handing over the responsibility to clean up the mess left behind by other companies' vehicles. Like the rescue flight for Sunni and Butch in March, NASA only trusted Dragon, so they worked with SpaceX to get them home safely. Also in March, Northrop Grumman's Cygnus NG-22 was damaged during transport, forcing NASA to cancel the planned June 2025 mission. To make up for it, NASA adjusted SpaceX's Cargo Dragon mission, set for April 21, 2025, by cutting back on science experiments and packing in extra food and supplies for the ISS instead. According to NASA, on April 23, 2025, Cargo Dragon will automatically dock with the Harmony module on the space station. This spacecraft is carrying around 6,700 pounds of cargo and scientific investigations to the orbiting lab. Unlike recent Dragon cargo missions, SPX-32 is bringing a lot more crew supplies, about 3,238 pounds. That's a big jump compared to 2,118 pounds on SPX-31 last November and just 1,201 pounds on SPX-30 back in March 2024. The reason? NASA's concerned that the Cygnus spacecraft, scheduled to launch the NG-22 mission in June, might have issues during transport again, just like it did earlier this year. So, they loaded up Dragon with extra food and essentials for the crew, just in case. But that shift came with a trade-off. SPX-32 is only carrying 562 pounds of science cargo inside Dragon, nearly 1,500 pounds less than what SPX-31 brought. Among the experiments on board are studies on plant growth, an air monitor to check the station's air quality, and pharmaceutical payloads. There's also the smartphone video guidance sensor 2, which is being tested with the help of the Astro B robot aboard the ISS. Essentially, it's a camera sensor developed by NASA that helps control the movement of small satellites in space. This technology could make satellite formations more accurate and reliable, and it has huge potential for future space missions, like remotely operating robots on the Moon or Mars. In addition, Dragon is also delivering 1,653 pounds of unpressurized cargo. This includes the atomic clock and space experiment from the European Space Agency, which will help study Einstein's theory of general relativity, as well as the Houston 10 spaceflight test program experiments. At first glance, the significance of SpaceX's SPX-32 flight is clear. 
Not only does it ensure the ongoing food supply for astronauts aboard the ISS, but it also contributes to important scientific research. For instance, studies on bone and muscle loss in microgravity could eventually lead to breakthroughs in treating conditions like osteoporosis and muscle deterioration in the elderly. Experiments like BioCell, which looks into immune cell behavior in space, hold promise for advancements in vaccines and cancer immunotherapy. Over the years, Dragon has proven its immense value to NASA, delivering real science, critical cargo, and substantial progress in space research. SpaceX's contributions have made a lasting impact. Now, compare this with Blue Origin's recent NS-31 mission, where six female passengers flew aboard New Shepard. On the surface, the flight seemed inspiring, an all-female crew in space for the first time in this century. But, in reality, it didn't contribute anything to scientific advancement. Instead, it reinforced Blue Origin's image as a luxury space tourism company rather than a serious player in space exploration. While the NS-31 mission carried a powerful symbolic message, reminding us of the 1963 milestone when Valentina Tereshkova became the first woman in space, it didn't push the boundaries of space science or exploration like SpaceX's mission. The flight also featured a diverse lineup of notable figures from different walks of life, from pop star Katy Perry to aerospace engineer Aisha Bow. It was a clear message from Blue Origin. They want to bring space closer to everyone and inspire the next generation, especially women and young girls, to pursue careers in STEM. As Amanda Nguyen put it, if I can fly to space, so can you. Sure, the mission had a noble purpose, but let's be honest, it wasn't exactly accessible. All six passengers were already famous and wealthy in their fields. So, hey ladies, if you're dreaming of going to space, better start saving at least $300,000 for a few minutes up there, just like they did. Actually, the NS-31 flight wasn't just a photo op. Like SpaceX's CRS missions with Dragon, including the recent Fram 2 flight, it also carried scientific experiments. The Vietnam National Space Center teamed up with Amanda Nguyen to send 169 Vietnamese lotus seeds to space. The goal? To study how space conditions affect the seeds, research that could have real applications in agriculture and science back here on Earth. But it does raise an interesting question. With just a few minutes up there at around 67 miles above Earth, can you really get any meaningful results from an experiment like that? Ultimately, the flight ended up putting even more pressure on Blue Origin, and at the worst possible time. Headlines and social media erupted with debates over whether missions like NS-31 truly offer any real value, or if they're simply flashy billionaire joyrides. This scrutiny only chipped away at Blue Origin's image as a company supposedly working for the greater good of humanity. But the timing of NS-31's launch only added to the pressure. Blue Origin was already locked in a high-stakes race with SpaceX, a company that was securing massive contracts, including a $5.9 billion satellite launch deal with NASA and the Pentagon. Meanwhile, Blue Origin had only secured $2.3 billion in deals. In this context, NS-31 wasn't just a PR move. It became a symbol of Blue Origin's struggle to keep up with its more successful competitor. While NS-31 failed to spark the kind of inspiration it was aiming for, SPX-32 quietly and powerfully demonstrated what truly matters in spaceflight. At a press conference before the flight, NASA reassured everyone that everything had been carefully calculated and there were no concerns about food supplies or other consumables on the ISS. Right now, the crew remains well supplied, said Zebulon Scoville, deputy director of NASA's ISS Integrated Transport Office. According to him, the ISS crew is well stocked, with supplies secured through the summer of 2025, even if the next mission, SPX-33, were delayed. This underscores the critical role SPX-32 plays in ensuring the crew's survival and continued operations, especially for Expedition 73. It's a subtle yet clear reminder that SpaceX's Dragon is absolutely essential for maintaining the ISS's function and crew support. Besides its direct contributions to the ISS, Cargo Dragon also represents a bigger shift in space exploration, setting SpaceX apart from competitors like Blue Origin's New Shepard. During SPX-32, Cargo Dragon C-209 flew for the fifth time, 
showing off the durability and cost efficiency of SpaceX's reusable tech. Each successful reuse cuts down costs and reinforces the company's mission to make space travel more affordable and sustainable. But Dragon isn't just built for routine cargo runs. It's designed for more advanced tasks, laying the foundation for future human missions to the moon. New Shepard, meanwhile, is a different story. This quirky-looking spacecraft is reusable too, but let's be real, it's mainly built for space tourism and a bit of microgravity research. It launches straight up, crosses the Karman line, that 62-mile mark where space officially begins, then floats back down with parachutes, all in just about 11 minutes. Now, New Shepard is all about those suborbital missions, so you only get around three minutes of weightlessness. The rocket booster lands vertically, while the crew capsule with its fancy panoramic windows gives you a short but breathtaking view of Earth's curve. But let's be real. It's a space selfie for the ultra-rich, not a serious player in the deep space game. Meanwhile, Dragon isn't just about a quick joyride. It's got a cupola window that gives astronauts a much better view of Earth and space. It's built for the long haul, for real missions, not just for getting rich folks to say, hey, I've been to space. However, we shouldn't dismiss New Shepard completely. In the grand scheme, both spacecraft offer unique value. Cargo Dragon and New Shepard reflect two distinct approaches to commercial space. SpaceX focuses on infrastructure, enabling science and prepping for deep space missions. Its work with NASA makes it a key player in driving down costs and expanding human presence in orbit. Blue Origin, meanwhile, takes a more inspirational route. New Shepard is about accessibility and creating cultural moments, like NS-31. While it lacks the scientific punch of SpaceX, it still plays a role in shaping public interest in space. The NS-31 flight may not have delivered supplies to the ISS or supported a major NASA mission, but that doesn't mean it was meaningless. One key takeaway is that New Shepard, while not part of NASA's core programs, still plays a role in today's increasingly commercial space industry. NASA's long-term vision is to open space to more players, cut launch costs, and build a sustainable space economy. In that sense, New Shepard's reusability and relatively low ticket price, $250,000 to $500,000, make it a small but meaningful step toward that future. It's a testbed for business models that could eventually make space more accessible to startups, researchers, and even everyday people. And every flight adds to Blue Origin's operational experience, refines its reuse tech, and moves the company closer to bigger goals, like launching the New Glenn orbital rocket or landing the Blue Moon lander. These projects align with NASA's future, especially the Artemis program. So, while NS-31 didn't push science like Cargo Dragon, it still quietly supported the long game, building the commercial ecosystem NASA will depend on for decades. That's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.